My God, I hate drugs. Morning, sir. Yeah, uh, morning. Sir, Presidential San Paulo Duterte posted on his Facebook account mm. list of groups and individuals which includes Vice President Robredo, uh, Justice Carpio, some journalists, and even top companies in the country allegedly plotting against uh, the government. Um, Robredo has Islammed this as irresponsible because there were no proofs of evidence regarding their alleged involvement in the said um, destabilization efforts. Uh, what's the palace take on this, sir? Is Malacanang supporting these claims of uh, the presidential son? First, we are not privy to the list issued by the former vice mayor. <clears throat> Number two, the president always respects the freedom of expression. And the vice mayor then may have some reasons for issuing such a list. We do not know. And anybody who feels aggrieved, they can always refute the allegation contained in the list. <clears throat> That is the beauty of democracy. There will be, as the saying goes, free market of ideas and expressions. Will the president talk to his son regarding this uh, alleged list of groups and individuals? The president, as a, as a policy, does not talk to the children with respect to their principled positions or political decisions. Having this such a uh, claim, sir, from the former vice mayor, is this a cause of concern for Malacanang? As I said, the, the president respects. So I'm sure the former vice mayor is competent enough to explain his position on the matter. The sir, follow up. Number. Thank you, Nestor. Follow up on that uh, issue, Chona. Bago mag shift, sir. Pero sir, this statement coming from a presidential son and uh, <clears throat> concerning the president, isn't the palace bothered about it? Concerned you know, the former vice mayor is a son. And all sons will react to any plot, any conspiracy that he perceives to be against the father. So it is his right. To react on certain things that he knows that we do not know of. Follow up, Chona. Still on the plot? Follow up? W will the oh, palace. Okay. Chona, Chona. Is your list, is your name in the list? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Pero, sir, will the palace not ask the national security personnel? to verify this report? If there is requ a request from uh, the source himself, maybe. But, uh, you know, as I said earlier, the palace will never interfere with anything that concerns matters that he is not privy of, the president. Still on the plot, follow up? Henry. Yeah, okay. Secretary. Pero kung mayroong seryosong banta, Meron bang kapasidad ang kahit sino mang individual o grupo na pabagsakin ng kasalukuyang administrasyon sa inyong well, given, palagay? Given the popularity rating of the president, no coup will, no coup or for that matter, conspiracy will succeed. <coughs> so kung walang chance... The PNP chance, and the military are in support of the president as well as the majority of the Filipinos. So kung walang chance sa yung... Uh, pahayag ni uh, Presidential San Paolo Duterte. Uh, ano sa tingin ninyo? Dapat nang ibasura or kalimutan na o wag pansinin? Again, I will repeat, that is his right and we cannot deprive this person of expressing his sentiment. Especially because he is a son and all sons have the right to defend, to neutralize any attempt to discredit or to assault the reputation or the integrity of a father. Okay. Uh, Sir, have you talked to Speaker Arroyo regarding the 2.4 uh, billion in, uh, por alleged pork insertion in the I wasn't able budget? to 
talk to her, but she texted that Congressman Maricar Zamora explained it already. Mm -hmm. Their explanation is that <clears throat> contrary to the allegation of pork barrel, they said that this time there were items and these items were given by different agencies. In other words, prior to the approval, they've been there. Unlike the pork barrel lump sum where there is no specific item where it will go. That's the explanation. So do you agree, sir, na walang irregularities done? Well, you know, the position of the palace is that <clears throat> that's a different branch. Now they have to do their job. And I understand from what I read in the papers today that Budget Secretary Jokno has been invited to explain. So we'll leave it at that. We'll see. What about the president, sir? What's his position? This position is, I was talking to him and I said, he said that there must be some explanation on the part of the Speaker Arroyo and others, so let's hear them. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. Thank RJ, you. thank you. MPC, question? In relation with that, uh, <clears throat> uh, other matters, uh, Joseph, okay, please. Sir, if you issued a statement before, no? Okay, you didn't say acquittal ni former Senator Revilla. Yes. But um, <clears throat> just to uh, belabor the point, what does the palace think of the decision the acquitting the former senator? Okay. Well, our statement is that we bow to the decision of the court. Mm -hmm. We have never interfered and never will we interfere. What do you think is the, is the will, will the effect be on the other pork barrel cases like uh, the ones against uh, former Senator um, Enrile and uh, Estrada. Again, that will depend on the evidence presented by the prosecution in those cases you mentioned. Mm -hmm. It's the court's call. The constitutional duty is imposed on them to decide on the basis of evidence. Mm. So we will not interfere. Sir, the president said before no na mm -hmm. before way way back na yeah. lalabas si senator revilla do you think this has lalabas? any what do you mean lalabas? i mean maybe mi statement siya na ganun na parang mm -hmm. uh, do you think that has an effect on this case or none first i don't remember him saying that when was this <clears throat> second i don't think any statement coming from the president with respect to a personal opinion will influence Effect any influence on the part of the judiciary. These are men of independence and probity. They will decide on the basis of law and evidence. Any accused or party litigant agreed or is not satisfied with the decision, there are legal remedies available under the law. They can always go to the higher courts. Sir, just one last point on the case. No? Um, the court decided that the chief of staff nya and uh, Ms. Napoles are guilty. Uh, but there was a dissent <coughs> from one of the justices who voted against the acquittal that said that it is impossible for Attorney Cambe and Ms. Napoles to access uh, the PDAF because it is under the control of the lawmaker. I ask this because this is probably the heart of all the other PITAF cases pending before the Sandigan Bayan. What's the, palace, what's the palaces? Again, we will repeat what I said earlier. We will not interfere with the courts. Um, we will bow to the decision of the court. Dissenting opinion will always be there, but our rule is that majority prevails. Um, so we will abide by that. Okay. Anybody, again, as I said, who questions that can always go to the higher courts. With due respect, sir, this is not um, probably, again? with due respect, no? Um, I'm asking about uh, your position, whether you agree that anyone outside of probably the a staff mm. could probably do 
plunder. First, I'm not privy to that. Second, the executive neither is privy to that too. Strictly speaking, the court will have to decide on the basis of that is presented to it by the prosecution and decide. Mm -hmm. We can <clears throat> indulge in the speculation, but again, the rule of law will always prevail. We have to bow to the majesty of the law, regardless of who are involved. All right, cool, thanks. Thank you, Joseph. Uh, NPC, question? Hold on, eh? <laughs> Nestor, please. 